What is up there everybody, Citrus Aviation here with yet another video and today we have massive unboxing number 8 and in this video we have just two boxes, the one up top there which has three planes in it and then the one on the bottom which I believe has seven or nine planes in it. Um, the one up top comes from Diecast Airplane Store, it's my first time buying from them and then the one on the bottom comes from the RM Model Store. The box up top, those have my NG April releases that I hadn't gotten yet. Uh, I got that box in June, so I'm recording this on July the 28th, which is a Wednesday, and I got that box up top a month ago. And, and then I got the larger box on the bottom about two or three weeks ago. So I've been sitting on this pile of boxes here for a while. But uh, we're finally going to do the unboxing. The, the bottom one is another large box with quite a few models in it. And interestingly enough, the item that's selling as listed there is the Southwest Flaps Down 737-700 by Gemini Jets, which I already have. It's a great plane. Um, but yeah, we're going to unbox these. We got quite a variety in this one, and so we're going to start with the little box first. Just as usual, uh, be safe when you open your boxes. We don't want anything happening when you guys unbox your own boxes, or when I unbox mine. But here we should have the April releases. As you can see right there, there's the very first one of them, and we do have three. I got, I did buy five of these. I got a Lufthansa A330 and uh, an Alaska 737-900 in the one world livery in the last unboxing. And then these are the three other ones. Alright, so in here we have the other three that I hadn't gotten yet. As you can see, we have... The Southwest 737-700 in the Canyon Blue. This is the 700S. We have the Alaska 737-900 standard livery and the United 737-700 in the Continental Module livery. Lots of bubble wrap, which I like to see on my model planes. I always think that that's really the best material to be used for protecting planes. That's not a good start. That box is kind of destroyed. Just take a look at that. I hope that this one's not broken. I have seen some people got their Southwest broken. Of course, it's a new mold, so that's why that could happen. But uh, I got the May releases with those 700 S's and had no issues with those. So hopefully these don't have an issue. Let's get started with the Alaska. This one's super cool. I haven't noticed that anyone who's gotten theirs broken, and I don't expect to get mine broken either. I think this will be a great model. So, take this out of the box. So far, it looks fantastic. Look at that plane. Pretty good looking. Alright, let's put that one away. And then this will be the end of my NG April models haul, which uh, there are quite a few good ones in here. Here's the United. So now I have three United 700 splits, which will finish my United 700 collection, and I'll, I'll now have five of these. Um, here is the United 700. Looks good. The NG version of the 700 is by far the best mold out there. They make really high quality 737 NG molds. And that continues to be the case with the 700 and the 900. I'm looking forward to the 600s because those will be pretty cool. I'd probably get a WestJet and a Janet A on those. But here's the Southwest. I'm really interested. Is this model broken? Right off, it doesn't look like it. So that's a good sign. We'll find out though. Alright, take a look. Opening up the box. Yeah, it appears to be in good shape. All right, so just cosmetic damage to the box, and that is it. So that is completely doable. I mean, yeah, the box is destroyed. I'm not super happy about that, but I can deal with it. And if there's a, a restock or re-release of the 700 Canyon Blue, I'll probably buy it. So, yeah. But yeah, destroyed box. Other than that, the model looks good. Let's actually take a closer look at these. Before we move on to the big box. Alright, so Alaska 739, I believe it says proudly all Boeing on the nose there. You can see the parcel registration on the nose gear door as well as E-tops. 
You can see the Alaska One World logo there next to the uh, L1 door. The Jeremy Jets one does not have that because the Jeremy Jets one was made in a time when Alaska was still independent. The Alaska titles. We got the emergency exit of the wings. I really like the scene line that is here between the main cabin and the cargo bins. That's super nice. Of course, the NG split skimming toys are the best of any split skimming toys. You see the registration. I believe this is this is four three four. And then there's Chester on the tail. Skid plate is there as well. Great looking models. Just a longer. Um, 800 for the most part with a couple of differences. Here's the United 700, another great model. I'm not going to go into too much detail here because, well, reviews of these hopefully will be out some point. I keep saying I'm going to do reviews and then I don't, but you know, that's how it is. Sometimes I might just do like a quick speed run review of some of these planes. Let me know if you want to see that in the comments. But yeah, this one looks good as well. Better than the Jeremy Jets one. I mean, that's all I can say. The 700 mold is really good. And here's the Southwest, I'm really excited about this one. Their colors on this one look super nice. It looks really vibrant in its lighting, but of course that would be accurate. And this one has the blue skimmy toys, you can see there. There are a couple, I believe, in, with gray skimmy toys, but this one looks really nice. And it has Southwest.com on the outside, and I believe on the inside winglet as well. Let's take a look. Yes, it does. Really nice job, NG Malls, do that. So. Those are the Fox 3 models. They look fantastic. And with that being said, let's unbox the big box because I'm excited to see what's in that. Okay, so let's open this big box. And uh, one of the reasons why this box is so big is I believe there's seven or nine models in here. So that's one of the reasons. But the other reason is there are two 1 to 200 scale planes in here as well. And uh, I think you guys will be interested in them. Uh, they are including some of the newer Jeremy Jets May releases, I believe on in here. Actually, no, Jeremy Jets June releases, because Jeremy Jets did not do a May set. They just skipped over that month. Typical Jeremy Jets doing weird things like that. I actually preferred it when Jeremy Jets did combined month releases, as weird as that kind of seemed. It at least made sense, right? They weren't skipping, just straight up skipping months. All right, great packaging here once again. Alright, and the Gemini 200 model is on top. Alright, so, let's get this box oriented so you guys can see it. Alright, we have even more packages. So, we're going to start here with this Gemini 200 model. I'm so y'all interested in what that is. That is the Frontier A321, Virginia the Wolf. Great model. I'm looking forward to seeing how this is. Of course, the Gemini 200 A321 mold is much better than the 1 400 scale one, as I'm sure you will agree when you see it. We got a couple boxes in here. These, I believe, are the 777s. I did order several 777s, so I actually know that's a 777. So these are the Aviation 400 777s on the right, and these, I believe, are the Phoenix 777s. And then one other, there's three models in here. Here we have the uh, SkyWest COJ700. Of course, by Jeremy Jets, the June release one. Really excited to see how this is. I will move those and then we'll do this. This would be the... Okay, so two planes in here. When you order so many planes, you kind of forgot what you ordered sometimes. I know, first world problems. But anyway, I'm super happy about these. There are going to be some cool things in here. So let's take a look at what's in the packages that we have not sewn yet. So in here appears to be... Aha! Two earlier Gemini Just models I had to pass on because I wasn't, wasn't able to afford them at the time. But here we have the February 2021 release Delta 757-300. Really excited about this one to add it to the collection. This is the February release. Here we have the... When was this released? Sometime in 2020. I'm sorry I'll put it up on the screen when it was released. But American 787-8. I've always wanted a 787-8. 
I missed the first release because that plane, I had bought it, but then the story, uh, it was uh, Diecast Jets was out of them and they never refunded me for the plane. So that's why I stopped buying from them and went to Easy Toys and now I have all models as a great source. So I'm able to get the current release, American 787-8, which I'm really happy about. I've always kind of just wanted one of these. I thought they were cool and now I have one. So that's a long time dream come true there. Let's put the, uh, the other two planes here as well. The Frontier and the Sky West. Got quite a few Jerry Jets in this one. Um, these... Oh, I think Jerry Jets. Triple Sevens in there. Oh, but these two should be the Aviation 400 Triple Seven. We have two of them. Yes, they are. Both Chinese. Here we go. I like how these box arts are really similar to each other. So here's what the bottom looks like. Got China Southern and an Air China Triple Three. We got the right side with the logos and then like a little diagram. Got the top, which is the same as the bottom. And the left side got like the warnings and some information on it. Um, excellent quality, I do agree with that. Highly detailed, yes. Authorized, authentic liveries, yep. Realistic die cast, model collectibles, that's correct. And we got the brand for the airline and then the aircraft type. So yes, I ordered two AVs and 400 triple sevens. We have the China Southern and the Air China ones. I've been wanting to get these for a long time. I have a list. There's been a list I've had in my mind of about 30 or so triple seven 300 ERs I've always wanted. And we are very rapidly going down that list and getting a lot of them. Uh, so here's two more. Uh, interesting that this color here is purple instead of like the like actual like navy blue it is. Interesting that that's on the box. And then here, this should be three more triple sevens. Uh, one is not a 300 ER, it's a 777F actually. But we should have in here two triple threes and two other triple sevens. And we'll just show that to you now. The first one is, ooh, that's a really cool box. Look at that box art. That is super colorful. Wow. Okay, the first one here is a Jimmy Jess Air France 777 300ER. Right there. Put that down here. The next one is a Thai Triple Center Wow, look at that really colorful packaging. That is cool. And then we have a Kalita Air DHL Triple Seven F. So my brother saw this at Cincinnati, so I thought, you know, I might as well get it. So even more Triple Sevens to be added to the collection, as you can see. So let's start unboxing these. We got six, seven, eight, nine. Nine planes in this box, uh, which is pretty awesome. You can see why the box is so large, because it's a ton of wide bodies, a 1200 model. We do have one regional jet too. Just look how tiny that regional jet box is compared to the 1201. Anyway, we'll get started with unboxing these. So let's get started with the smallest of them all. This SkyWest CRJ700 is the Gemini Jet's June release. One of only two that I bought, about this and the 1 to 200 scale Frontier. So I'm interested to see how this compares to the CRJ900 mold. Immediately the landing gear is fixed. You can take a look at that. That Gemini Jet does know how to put landing gear CRJs after all. Take a look at that. SkyWest 700. Uh, it appears the horizontal stabilizer is still incorrect, but uh, I mean, this typical Jones Jets quality, I mean, what do you expect? Uh, but we do have the uh, nose gear doors on this one. Uh, of course, we got really light color on this one. The blue color is a bit lighter than it is in real life for the SkyWest livery, but it is still pretty good. Alright, so if we take a closer look, you can see the cockpit windows, SkyWest titles there. You can see it's a 700, typical COJ 700. Uh, they got the, uh, this aircraft just has two cargo bins, one up front and one in the aft section. Got the one forward, one aft. 
got the engine sale, and then you got the SkyWest tail now. So these operate for American Eagle mostly, so most people are buying these or buying them for either to collect them or to put them in the airports to operate as an American Eagle aircraft. But yeah, this is a cool plane. Let's unbox the other June release. The biggest plane in this unboxing, the Frontier A321. I actually have to move the camera back for this one because of how big that box is. So typical Gemini 200, they have this little plastic around the box to protect them because of the way this is printed, they can get scuffed up in transportation. So I put this plastic protector on it, which is cool. Take a look at that, that's, that's a nice looking box. I've always liked the Giant 200 boxes. I really wonder, will this have the newer stand in it? Nope, I'm still gonna get the trashy three-piece stand that's complete garbage that you can never use. Of course. Apparently I didn't spend enough money to get that. But look at that plane right there. Don't that look cool? All right, let's take out the box. Oh, look at it. It's super colorful, I love it. Virginia the Wolf, 1-200 scale by Gemini Jets. I think it's big, big, big. I, I need to compare this to my other Gemini 200 Frontier 321. I have the first release from 2018. So here's what this plane looks like. You see it says Virginia the Wolf there. The nose gear course turns, uh, for whatever reason, as typical Gemini Jets, only turns one way. Now the A320 mold for a Gemini slant JC Wings 1-200 scale does not have removable magnetic gear, which is fine by me because the removable gears have issues. Uh, this L1 door, the front tier titles look real nice. The L2 door, see an antenna there on the underside. Um, there's the dual light up top right there. Got the CFM engines, which are correctly poisoned on the Gemini 201, of course, not on the Gemini 400. Got the blue antenna, not the blue antenna, but the blue winglet, which does on the other side have the tail on the inside of the winglet. There you go. Isn't that awesome? And uh, both winglets have it. Both winglets have it on the inside, which is cool. All right, we have the L3 door, two more antennas, flyfrontier.com, the registration, uh, which I believe is 704 uh, Fox Travel Mail. And then we have the Virginia the Wolf artwork which looks real nice. We got the APU housing including uh, you can see there you can see the little thing on the bottom that is where static wick is connected which uh, helps to uh, remove any static buildup that can happen during flight or if the aircraft get hit by lightning. So this plane looks really awesome. Looking to see looks like there's another antenna here which that is for static buildup understand there's a press relief valve this plane just looks really nice I know I'm spending a lot of time on this but that's because one to 200 models are of course the highest detailed and uh, I walk on airplanes for a living now so there's some details I noticed so that is a really nice model um, actually let me go grab my other Frontier A321 just to compare for a moment so I've taken the camera off the tripod for the purposes of this section and here you can see there's the new one, Virginia the Wolf, and here we have uh, the other one, which is the, this is the owl one, so you can see right there on the nose. Yeah, so this is 705 and this is 704, so these are two ones, this is the old old release and this is the newer one. It's really cool to have both in the fleet and yeah, so here we go, two Frontier A321s now in the fleet. Next up, we got some Gemini Jets. We have a Delta 757-300 right here. This is the February 2021 release. So this one still has the SACCOM box on the front, which it does almost sit on the nose. That would be weird. But that looks beautiful. I've needed a second 753, and so here it is. That plane looks fantastic. And then next up, we have an American 7878. Really excited to finally have one in the fleet just because I've always wanted to have an American 8 and here we are. American 8. 
All right, let's unbox this. It's kind of reluctant, doesn't want to come out. Come on, come on, American, come out into the world. All right. Taking off the plastic, lots of plastic on the Jerry Jet 787, they definitely do that well. This is still the one piece, the dreaded one piece mold. The color, yeah, it's a bit silver, silvery weird with that effect. And of course it has the uh, the poop uh, fat cow box, but overall, I'm happy to have the plane. It's heavy. The Jerry Jet 787s are really heavy for whatever reason. But there it is. There's the plane. I'm super excited to have it. So let's take a closer look at them. Alrighty, so here we go. Here's the nose of the legendary 757-300 with the cockpit windows, the Delta titles. Got the L1, L2 doors. Got the SATCOM box, which is on the front. Yes, the larger SATCOM box on 757-300 is up front, so that's a good job for Jen just to put up there. You can see it's a very long plane. And of course, I believe on this one they only, yeah, they only print the real SATCOM box. It's not a separate piece, but it still does look good. I believe this is uh, 587 is this release, and uh, I have I believe 586, the previous, well not previous, 2015 release. I'd like to get the 2018 one as well. But here we go, 757-300, looking great. Maybe I'll do a review of it. Maybe I won't. Who knows? American 787, you could definitely tell from this camera view that the color is kind of a weird shade of gray. It's definitely, I would say it's about the right shade, but there's like this like metallic like sign effect they put on, which looks really weird. Satcom box is the correct, well, some of them do have this weird kind of brown effect where they've aged, although I would follow them to sew it as a new plane, so. Yeah, I prefer that them to have the gray or white SATCOM boxes if they were delivered. So, this plane looks good though. The 787, Jerry Jeff 787s are pretty solid. Of course, the, the uh, one piece wing is not great, but it's still a pretty decent mold. Like, it's not terrible. Alright, and we're gonna now do the models that I'm super excited for the 777. Look at that, we got a stack of five Boeing 777s. Just think of that. All right, we're gonna start with one that I'm most intrigued by, which is the Kalita Air 777F. So, let's unbox this. Operated by uh, DHL, like Kalita Air. So, here's the plane. Uh, my brother saw this at CVG. He saw, uh, he was placed on there for a couple hours and he saw Two DHL 777F in the standard DHL livery. He saw a Southern AR 777F. And then he saw this. A Kalitter AR 777F. Ooh. That uh, model kind of moved in the package bit. Well, we can at least take it out. Kind of. It's kind of a weird way to do it. Don't do it that way. But, uh, there we go. That's the plane. Now, the Phoenix mold, in my opinion, is really good. I actually really like the mold. I know some people don't like it, but I think it's it's pretty good. So, let's take a closer look at it. Alright, here we go. Starting at the cockpit windows, we have Boeing 777 written underneath it. Now, the one thing Phoenix is the landing gear is not very good, as you can see it lacks detail, and it's just like the bare metal look, which obviously most aircraft don't leave it bare metal. See the Kalita Air winged logo, it's like gold and black, nicely done. The gigantic G90 engines. We got the main tri gear, and of course the Phoenix ones do tilt it. Huh? Mine just tilt in the reverse direction, except for a, yeah, this left gear doesn't want to tilt forward. The other one does, very nicely. All right. You can see there's a Satcom box, DHL. It's the hybrid livery which says DHL on the back, the yellow, and then we have the registration. Got a lot of antennas here. You can see two on the bottom, two on the top. Another one on the top there, SATCOM box, that's pretty nicely detailed, so this plane looks really nice. The wings on the Phoenix look really solid, I've always thought that to be the case. And this mold I think is overall pretty solid, I just happen to think that the JC wings and the AV and 401 are better, uh, as they are a bit newer, but this is a pretty good mold as well. Alright, we have triple threes as the final items, and here we go, 
we'll get started with the Phoenix Tie Triple Three with the really cool box art. Um, let's open this up and take a look. Now it has this like new tray design you can see here, which I haven't seen on any Phoenix Triple Seven before, so it's my first time getting this. Uh, it is the newer Phoenix Triple Seven mold, which has a couple changes. It's mostly heavier, and the details have been softened a little bit as well as getting the two SATCOM boxes, so that's pretty awesome. And I'm really glad at another one. This is the TIE 777. So there's that 777. Next up, we got the German Jets Air France 777 3 yard. It's a model I've always wanted to get. And when German Jets released it, I think it was the last year of 2019, I was like, okay, I gotta get it. But I haven't been able to get it till now, so. Really excited to put this on display and of course in the airport. Which it will be going in the airport. Um, Bowling Center will get it, and I hope Atlanta starts getting these once again. Currently, it's all A350s, but a triple three would be awesome. And look at that, that plane is super cool. One of the more iconic airplanes to wear the Air France livery, if you ask me, at least of the modern fleet. I think the triple seven 300 looks fantastic in that Air France livery. We'll move that off to the side, and then we have the two AVs and 400 ones. Here we have the China Southern. This, this is one of three Chinese 777s I've been chasing after. I've wanted the China Eastern, China Southern, and Air China. And today, we are going to get two of the three 333s I've always wanted. Um, oh yeah, we got to move the stand here. Alright, so. Let's open this up. And here we go. 777. 300 yard China Southern. Wow, look at that. It's incredible. I'm always impressed by the Aviation 400 models, and uh, this one is a no X. Alright, we have one final 777 300. We'll move the China Southern, and that is the also Aviation 400 Air China 777 300 yard in the standard livery. Of course, I've been wanting to get a fleet 777s in standard liveries, and so, you know, here we go. Here's four of them. And I believe after these, I will have only about five or six I want left. So we're getting close to the end of the 777 collection. And I'm really excited to get these. So here we have an Air China 777 -300. This one also looks fabulous. Wow. Another great model by Aviation 400. Let's take a look at these models close up. Alrighty, here we go. We have the Thai 777 300 We got the uh, top windows, L1 door, Thai logo, of course. Got the L2, got a SATCOM box, antenna, the mighty GE90 engines, got the tri gear. And here we have the tail section, which is beautiful. I love the Thai current livery. I think it looks gorgeous. Um, obviously it's more simplistic compared to the old livery. Well, the old livery is pretty simplistic too, but this one, I just like this livery a lot. Great job by Phoenix. I'm gonna move to Jerry Jets, another simplistic livery. In fact, most of the 777 liveries that we have here today are very simplistic. Their France one is literally just white. And here we have their France titles that they revised version, I believe around uh, 2014, that when they revised the livery. We got the L1 door, L2 door, same things here on this one, G90 engines, of course. Of course, one of the things with this model is the gears don't want to roll at all. The nose gear does, but the main gears struggle, particularly that middle one, it just won't move whatsoever. Got a registration, and the classic Air France tail, the same as the traditional tail, except you can see it swoops a little bit at the bottom, so that can tell the current level from the old one. Next up, China Southern Airlines, one of the best 777 300 uh, liveries. If you could take a look, the livery looks really nice. It's a, an older style livery, but it looks fantastic. The Aviation 400 mold is excellent. Uh, these wheels also, for whatever reason, don't really want to move either. And once again, that middle wheel, it just gets stuck. So that's clearly something that these manufacturers can walk on. Uh, the Air China one doesn't have as much of an issue, it's just the uh, port side bogey. 
But they are China's definitely the oldest deliveries. As you can see, it is actually a blue color instead of the purple that box sells. See, uh, I believe that says Air China in Chinese or Mandarin, I believe it is. Air China, beacon lights, which are a separate piece. Can we get any reflection, any light reflects on it? Kind of, a little bit. Um, but yeah, really cool plane. I love the triple threes and I've got four more of them. So, that is it for this unboxing. I want to thank you all for joining me. Uh, I would love to know what your favorite model is of these and do you have any of these planes in your collection? I'm really happy to have these planes and we're going to be selling some beauty shots once again of the planes at the end of the video. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day and God bless you.